Hey all, welcome to Real Little Britain. Folks, tonight I've got a very special beer. And this one is from Blackie's Brewery, my own brewery. Now, there's no label on it, but it's my Rossages IPA. The only 500ml bottle, which was um, bottled about four, four and a half weeks ago. At 5.2% ABV. Now, I had this beer at Reading Real Little Cider Festival. Um on pr uh, preview and everybody loved it Rossages why Rossages IPA well there's this guy called Ross Goddard and um, he asked me to do him a birthday beer and I did it something hobby so this is an English IPA with an American twist so I'm gonna crack this bad boy open I'm gonna see exactly what it's like so the beer is opened with a nice hiss and Red and Real Real Cider Festival Glass 2015. Why not? Straight in with the pour. So, this beer is pouring with good carbonation. And it's pouring a wonderful deep lemon colour with a tint of burnt orange to it. Now, we're going to stop there. It's got a two finger head, which is pure white in colour. Okay? And the beer itself. Is just a little tiny 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 little bit cloudy and the reason for that is folks this is hop haze yeah there's so much hop has went into this beer through dry hop and actual um normal the hopping process and um, but an IPA is basically a beer which is over hopped to make it last the journey from England to India now that looks absolutely fantastic in a glass Let's go straight in with the nose. Well, the first thing you get is this massive grapefruit nose. There's pine. There's beautiful sweet, um, it's like sweet grapes stroke pine needles. There's peaches. There's leche fruit. And then you get this kind of roundedness of um, of that malt. You get citrus lemon notes. You get a little bit of lime. This beer is all about the malts and the hops. Folks. Let me just show you. Red and Real Ale at Cider Festival 2015, celebrated just two weeks ago. Rossages IPA. We are going to go straight in. Cheers. The first thing you get is hops right up in your face. There's grapefruit, there's pine needles. There's lemon, there's lime, there's white flesh peaches, there's big massive champagne white grapes, and there's this kind of perfumey, flowery, bitterness to the beer and that just goes to show what the bitterness on this beer is like it's full it's rounded it, and it protects the beer from being destroyed on long voyages the malt in the beer is sitting there and it's holding the beer 5.2 percent the body's spot on the carbonation now in the bottle, I think the carbonation is excellent, and the reason being is because as soon as it, as soon as you open it, you get the pss, it pours in the glass, it gets a good head. When you drink it, the the beer itself sizzles on the tongue and then completely disappears. And then what pops through is it's all them different hops and all them different flavors. What's the finish like? The finish is a light multi-backbone with a massive hop um, 
structure which has got citrus fruits it's got grapefruits it's got peaches it's got the sweetness of pine which leads to a wonderful but light and very light grassy bitterness folks I never rate my own beers but I do think this is something very very special and Ross it was an absolute privilege to brew this beer for your birthday um, and actually when Blackie's Brewery is up and running this is going to be part of the core range folks that is Blackie's Brewery Rossages IPA at 5.2% ABV cheers slam a car